I gotta read you the lyrics to this brilliant record. At least a few of these, few of the lyrics to this brilliant record. It comes in at number thirty-one on my fancy playlist the week of July fourth, nineteen eighty-seven. Vernon, Vernon, meet me when the bulk lands. Keys to the MG will be in his hands. Adjust to the driving and I'm on my way. It's all on the right side in Montego Bay. Come on, see me, La. It, come see me, Montego Bay. In Gillian, meet me like a brother would. I think I remember, but it's twice as good. Look how cool the rum is from his silver tray. I thirst to be thirsty in Montego Bay. It goes into the chorus, and then I lay on a lilo till I'm lobster red. I still feel the motion here at home in bed. I tell you, it's hard for me to stay away. You ain't been till you've been high at Montego Bay. <laughs> yes. The Bobby Bloom record, redone by Amasulu. Summer of 87. Boy, I fell in love with this version, too, by Amasulu. I jumped it from number 43 to 31, the week of July 4th, 1987. Fancy playlist. Amasulu, they were a British ska band. They had four. Amazulu had four top 20 hits in England. Their biggest one was Too Good to Be Forgotten. That was in 1986, a remake of a Shylots record. They started out as a six-piece band, but they pared down to about three people, three girls, three women in this band by about 1986. They were discovered. Well, before I get into that, they started out, uh, Sharon Bailey and Rose Minor started this band. Rose Minor was the original lead singer of Amasulu. They were discovered by a guy named Falcon Stewart. Falcon Stewart, the manager, former manager of Adam and the Ants, stand in the liver, ant music, all the, the British classics back in 1981, the war paint, the Adam and the Ants wore the, the flamboyant costumes. Man, it was so, such a cool band. Well, anyway, Falcon Stewart, he discovered Amasulu, and he started pushing their single. Their first single was called Cairo. It was not big, not big at all in England, but he, he managed... Stuart, well, Falcon Stewart managed to get them airplay on BBC's Radio 1. He hooked them up with a DJ named John Peel, the legendary DJ in England, and uh, they managed to get some airplay on BBC Radio 1. They appeared on top of the Pops in 1985 and got them the four top 20 hits. Montego Bay uh, did not chart top 40 here in America. It was not that big, but, oh, God. I remember the original version so vividly, too. Fall of 1970, Bobby Bloom, just whistling right out of the AM transistor radio, General Electric transistor radio. Guess who produced the original version? Jeff Barry. You're saying, well, who the hell is Jeff Barry? Well, Jeff Barry, along with Ellie Greenwich, Wrote some of the great girl group classics in the early 60s. Danny Kiss Me, Do The Run Run, and with Shadows Morton, Jeff Berry, and Ellie Greenwich wrote Leader of the Pack. It doesn't stop there. He hooked up with Andy Kim, Jerry, Ver Jeff Berry did. Jeff Berry and Andy Kim, they wrote Sugar Sugar, Jingle Jangle, Who's Your Baby, Sunshine, all those hit records by the Archies, they wrote them. Jeff Berry did. This guy had some major, had a, had a resume and a half by the time he got to uh, producing Bobby Bloom's Montego Bay. He co-wrote it as well. That's all I got to say. Here it is. Amasulu were there. The thing about Amasulu, they sound a lot like Bananarama. The smooth harmonies, more of a reggae version of Bananarama. Number 31 on my fancy playlist there, rendition of Montego Bay. 